at this time, can I please have our valedictorian, Fred Malley. Thank you, Mr. Preston. Thank you, Mr. Preston. Good morning, class of 2021, staff and teachers of Chilliquin High School, parents and guests. My name is Frederick Malley, and today it is my honor to deliver this speech about some things that I have discovered during my time at Chilliquin High School. I have attended Chilliquin High School since the beginning of ninth grade. I did grow up in this area, and I have been given an amazing education by my parents. However, as comprehensive as an education it was, my parents saw that I lacked experience with social interactions. I was transferred to public school from home school so that I could get exposed to the world. With help from my classmates and teachers, I feel like we as a whole class have improved in interacting with each other over our time here. It is something that I have come to value as much as my regular education. Relationships are important for a healthy development, especially right now. I have witnessed my classmates develop into amazing individuals in such a short time, despite that we had to adjust very quickly to online learning. Our lives have not been the same since March 2020, when the virus hit. We had to massively alter our habits and schedules, especially the teachers. It was pretty hard on the teachers. Zoom invaded the sacred refuge of our homes. Schoology became the classroom, while the kitchen table became our desks. We lost the authentic accessibilities of our teachers. We lost the convenience of hand raise. We lost the morning ritual of getting dressed for class and heading off to school. We, we most importantly lost contact with each other. For a long time we forgot who we were as a class and a school. It was hard on everybody, but all these struggles were not in vain. We developed flexibility and fortitude in the rapidly changing conditions. Future employers will know this year was difficult and weird. They will see our ability to be malleable and resistant. Resilient, excuse me. During job interviews, they will take into account the skills we developed as a result of our ability to overcome the difficulties we face. It is because of the dogged perseverance of our teachers, staff, and parents that we are here today. It is because we live in this country that we have our futures to look forward to. Let us not forget the people who came before us, the men and women who have also struggled, sacrificing everything so their descendants could prosper, have families, and have opportunities to be happy and free. Today is June 6th. It is not only our graduation day, but it is also the 77th anniversary of D-Day. The men who stormed the beaches of Normandy faced insurmountable odds in order to defeat the enemy and they only achieved victory because they overcame their fear of death. We must honor the legacy of these warriors by working hard for the benefit of our country and our families. We can channel this energy into becoming better people as we have channeled our energy into finishing high school and overcoming the horrible disruption we faced. We have succeeded in completing this year, but there will be always more disruptions and more of the unexpected. This is life, but all such things are temporary. A person who tries to do good all the time is bound to get good results back. If I had to choose a single piece of advice to give to you, I would say, think about what you can provide for others so that they need not fear. I want to thank my parents for their sacrifices the high school staff for providing motivation to graduate. I'd like to thank them for their helpful advice. I would like to thank my classmates for being professional and cooperative. Thank you and good luck everybody.
Thank you, Fred. And now our salutatorian, his brother, Chad Malley. Thank you, Mr. Preston. My name is Chad Malley, and I am proud to be here today before you. Before I start the main part of my speech, there are some people I feel we should recognize for helping us get to this point. First, the teachers and staff of Chiloquin High School. They are responsible for helping us get the education we needed to progress through and complete high school. They had to go through as much trial and tribulation as the students, if not more. Next, a special thanks to Mr. Preston, the principal. After our vice principal left back in the mid to late winter, Mr. Preston had to shoulder the, role, the burdens of both roles. Fortunately, as most of you have heard, Mrs. Dunham will be the new vice principal next year, so hopefully Mr. Preston can relax a little. I think he deserves a break after this school year as much as the rest of us. I would also like to recognize the custodians and janitors of this school. They work after hours to keep this school clean, but are almost never thanked for it. Mr. Lloyd Rogers, the head custodian, works during clear hours as well, tirelessly fixing problems around the school and doing such jobs as mowing the grass and de-icing the sidewalks in winter. When I joined this class as a freshman, I noticed that many of the teachers genuinely cared for the students and their education. And even today, I still appreciate that. I noticed it the most when I first joined Mr. Dunham's shop class. I found that he was especially caring and knowledgeable about individual students' needs. I also found that I was drawn to the hands-on qualities of shop, and this interest has remained with me throughout my time here. General George S. Patton once said, accept the challenge so that you may know the exhilaration of victory. I like to think of high school as one big challenge that had many smaller challenges to it. Once we completed all the minor challenges, the main ch challenge would be completed. We start off with relatively simple challenges in ninth grade, but as we crept up the grade ladder, it would get more difficult. But, as each challenge came, we willingly took it on and pushed forward to completing it. And the victory of completing the main challenge is the feeling of satisfaction that comes with graduation. Someone I know once told me that the things one has accomplished in high school have little impact in their new life as an adult. Sure. Sports and good grades can make a difference in getting into a college. But after high school, you are essentially starting completely over with a clean slate. What matters is that you are becoming a different person from your high school self. And being a different person means that you are free to accomplish things as an adult that you previously could not as a student. With that comes responsibilities, not just to ourselves and those who love us, but to those who invested in our lives and helped us become who we are now and who we are meant to be as adults. And the parents and guardians of my classmates, thank you for the encouragement, support, and necessary pressure that helped us complete and graduate high school. We all have had our own personal struggles but we did not allow them to hold us back from our successes. Secondly, personal thanks is extended to my classmates for being my friends and supporting each other whenever a problem would arise. Had this class been any different, I have no doubt that much of my high school experience would have been different as well. Thank you for making these last four years of school the best they could be. I have little advice left to give, except from now on it is your life. It is up to you to make it the best life. 
There are countless possibilities out there in the world, and we need to find them and decide what will be the best choice for us. Some of us will go to college. Some will jump straight into the workforce. No matter what you do, I wish all of you the best. Thank you, class of 2021, for making these four years of school the best possible. Goodbye.